Today we will talk about the automatic measurement function in an oscilloscope. As the title suggests, this function allows you to automatically measure characteristics of the input signal. We will show how this feature works using Siglint SDS 1072CML Plus oscilloscope as an example. However, keep in mind that all modern digital oscilloscopes use this feature in the same way. Therefore, the video will be beneficial for all those who have digital oscilloscopes. So, let's measure the characteristics of input channels 1 and 2. Channel 1 gets a square wave, or a meander, with an amplitude of 3 volts and 1 kHz frequency. Channel 2 gets the sign-shaped signal with the amplitude of 1 volt and 2 kHz frequency. Therefore, to switch on the automatic measurement function, we press the Measure button and immediately see the full list of options available. We can measure voltage, time parameters, channel communication parameters such as delay, phase offset and so on. And we can also clear the selected parameters. So, let's start with measuring voltage. I'm choosing channel 1 as an example. So, I would like to have peak-to-peak -peak displayed. Let's press the ET button. Peak-to-peak -peak is 3 volts, and this is actually how it is. For example, I choose channel 1 and I select the duration of rising edge of about 400 nanoseconds. Let's select channel 2 now. For channel 2 we have the sine wave. I am choosing the channel here. I will select, let's say, peak to peak of 2 volts. Well, everything is correct. Amplitude is 1 volt and peak to peak is 2 volts. I will also select RMS value. It will be around 700 or 680 millivolt. As an example, I will select one more parameter of voltage, let's say period. This oscilloscope allows for displaying five selected parameters simultaneously. Other models can be different, of course. It is very comfortable that parameters measured are backlighted in the same color as the signal. For example, the color of channel 1 is yellow, and all parameters for channel 1 are backlighted as yellow. Peak to peak is 3 volts. Rise time is 400 nanoseconds. And value of the division is 1 volt for division. For channel 2 we also have the corresponding color. Let us take, for example, channel phase offset of 150 degrees. Now let's clear all selected parameters. Here comes the most exciting mode of work, at least in my opinion, that is, displaying all possible parameters. For example, for channel 1 I can select all voltage parameters and all time parameters. It is very convenient, because I simultaneously observe the signal itself and all its parameters. For example, for voltage there are around 30 parameters. I do not see the whole signal, but I am not much interested in its time parameters. I can switch them off and simultaneously observe the signal in the upper section of the screen and its parameters. As you can see, the function of automatic measurements can make their user's life a lot easier. Like this video if you enjoy it and subscribe to our channel. See you soon!